what's up everyone and welcome to your 22nd javascript tutorial in this tutorial we'll be looking at something called index of and last index of in javascript now these two are basically methods of string prototype which are used inside a string to get the position of any character or any word or any sentence in a particular string for example let's create a variable x and supply it with parameter uh, the value as I am learning JavaScript and JavaScript is cool and let's make it caps as well okay so we have this variable X and now create a variable Y with X dot index of and we want to fi find the word JavaScript notice that this index of is case sensitive that means javascript is not equal to javascript okay so we have right y is equal to x dot index of javascript and let's try to console log this y or basically like that and here we have our window And in the console log we get 13 now 13 here means that this position of JavaScript is actually 13th from the beginning the I right here is index as 0 remember indexing starts from 0 therefore I is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 so at the 13th position this word is found by index of now what does last index of mean then the last index of means the last occurrence of this word just like index of returns as the first occurrence of any word or character the last index of returns as the last index uh, last occurrence of any character or word they are basically the same thing one and the same but the first the index of returns the first occurrence and the last index of returns the last uh, the last occurrence both are case sensitive uh, notice that how you write it and if we refresh this again then we get 25 because we were 13 right till here then 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 and 25 okay pretty simple now the thing I want to discuss with you is a couple of things that if you supply index of and last index of with any word which is actually not in the sentence then this these two functions return negative one for example if I do Python right here and if I refresh this page then we'll get negative one now what does negative one means that index of is saying okay to JavaScript that yes I searched this sentence but I was not able to find the word Python in this sentence so it returned the position negative one and the same with the last index of no need to show the next thing I want to discuss is index of could actually save you from running a loop to find a variable for example let's have a variable here numbers and give it the array of some natural numbers and let's close it and for example I want to find out whether 6 is present here or not so the traditional way I would do is I launch a loop numbers dot length and we'll just increment the i each time and we say if numbers i is equal to six then we have got the number here and just break out of the loop. Now this is kind of a big thing and unwanted consumption of memory when we have such a nice and neat function so a shorthand of this loop would be using index of so if I want to store the value whether the number is present or not what I can do is numbers dot index of and supply in the parenthesis the value I want to check against so if 6 is actually present then this this value would hold anything greater than negative 1 so if I do if present or not is greater than 
negative 1 that means console log yes 6 is present otherwise console log nope 6 is not present and if we try to reload this just a minute let's comment out the statement uh, we get yes 6 is present and just replace 6 with it so that we can use some other way, uh, numbers and let's try with 1 yes it is present and uh, let's try with 7 yes it is present let's try with 9 and uh, let's see uh, we get nope it's not present so instead of writing a big traditional loop we can use this simple line statement which returns us negative 1 if the number is not found or the position of the numbers basically anything greater than 1 negative 1 if the number is found the, we can also do this with <coughs> uh, string arrays like fruits or anything you want to create for example languages so we can do like php python and all like that uh, we can do like index of php uh, we can do like this and it will still work yet it is present uh, yes indeed it is so this was all about index of and last index of they are basically similar but most of the times programmers use index of instead of last index of so it's up to you what you want to use both will return the same result if the occurrence is only once in the string or an array so don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time